Hey everyone, Jo here. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I speak a lot about health and fitness and having a healthy lifestyle, but self-love and self-care are often overlooked. And I believe that a holistic approach to a healthy lifestyle is imperative. So check out these three top tips to help you start loving yourself more, putting yourself first and becoming the best version of yourself. Stay tuned. And if you're new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you lead a happy, healthy and wealthy lifestyle. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell below so that you automatically get new videos from me when they come out. So tip number one, put yourself first. If any mums are watching, you know too well that self-care and self-love are put on the back burner. You put your kids first, and I know that because I'm a mum also. And being a mother is a full-time job. And to your kids, you're an entertainer, a teacher, an advisor, a friend, a colleague, a cook, a taxi driver, a salesperson, and the list goes on. And then you also have your other full-time job as well. Housewife as well, being a wife and organising the home. But even if you are not a mum, we tend to overlook our self-care and put others before ourselves. It is, however, essential to put yourself first because your health and your life depend on it. You're the person that is taking you through your life, no one else. And if we don't look after ourselves, how can we take care of others? And tip number two is practice gratitude. You know, Gratitude helps us to feel more positive emotions. It helps us to improve our health and build relationships, especially the number one relationship, which is the one with ourselves. And being conscious about it and acknowledging the good in your life will pave the way for you to receive more abundance in your life. And the best way to pra practice gratitude is to take five to 10 minutes out of your day and write in a gratitude journal. Think of all the things that you are grateful for. It could be your family, it could be your, your health, your work, your dog, anything that gives you joy where you feel a good sense of satisfaction and happiness. So each day, try and think of three things that you're grateful for and feel them. If you write them down daily, your focus will start to shift to all the good things in your life instead of focusing on what's not working. And being in a state of gratitude will bring you closer to your long-term goals and help you deal with adversity. And tip number three is eat well. Don't get me wrong, your value does not lie in the way your body looks, not at all. But loving your body and nourishing it well is part of loving yourself. Therefore, providing your body with optimum nutrition is a must. And your body can only function effectively when you're feeding it what it needs daily. And that includes making sure you are hydrating yourself too with pure water every single day and eating fruits, vegetables and berries. If time is an issue and you know that you will most likely grab an unhealthy snack on the road, there are many other options to give your body what it needs daily. For example, I use a series of natural products because I know that they bridge the gap between what I eat and what I should eat every single day. And so every day I flood my body with 30 different types of fruits, vegetables and berries and supplement with plant-based omega. Reward your body with good food and well-balanced nutrients, and it will reward you back. And on a closing note, remember that self-love is a journey. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes practice to put oneself first. And remember how far you have come. Think about what you have achieved along your journey and how bright your future looks. Be kind and patient with yourself. And remember throughout all life struggles, the sun always reappears. Embrace the struggles because they pave your life into becoming the person you are today and what helps you become the best version of yourself. So that's it folks. Thanks so much for checking into my video today. I really appreciate you. If you would like tips on how to stay happy, fit and healthy, please check out my top five tips to get fit and healthy video series. And please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell below. Thanks for watching today and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.